Hi, it's Panda Movies here. Today, I'm going to explain the movie called Living Hell. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. Enjoy the video. Before murdering her husband and committing suicide in 1969, 10-year-old Frank Sears is approached by his distraught mother Eleanor, who carves the inscription S3V12 into the palms of his hands with a pencil and urges him not to forget her warning. Frank is a biology teacher in the present day, plagued by the night his mother died. After attempting to forget about her warnings, he conducted an internet search that led him to drive from New Jersey to Benel, New Mexico, to see the Army Base Fort Lambert. He is forced to break through the base's gates and is detained, at which point he tells Carrie Freeborn and her wheelchair-bound husband Glenn his story. His mother used to work at the base and warn him that something terrible was kept there, in sub-level 3, Vault 12. Eleanor Sears is not mentioned in the Freeborn's records, and the base's decontamination documentation shows that the vault was empty. On a subsequent inspection, they discover the back wall is hollow and, despite Frank's cautions, begin excavation right away. A quarantine is set up on Colonel Eric Maitland's orders, so Carrie's team, which consists of herself, Torben Struss, Gay Losterlo, and Annetta McQueen, can access the sealed tank. They come across a man's body with disease evidence inside, but when Carrie tries to biopsy the contaminated tissue, the virus comes to life in the shape of massive fast-spreading plant-like roots. When Struss tries to close the tank, he is instantly murdered, and the creature grows out of the room in a matter of seconds. Glenn, Osterlo, and many other soldiers are killed during the evacuation. Carrie frees Frank and shows him photos of the man in the tank, but he remains silent. The soldiers retreat to Benel to formulate a response, and Frank learns that Carrie was implying that the man in the tank was his biological father. Frank and Carrie go looking for Virgil Reedwing, a business owner who Frank believed he remembered from earlier when he asked for directions. They discover that Virgil, Frank's father, and Eleanor all worked at the base in 1958, and they find a package left for Virgil before Frank's father passed away. The organism, on the other hand, makes its way to the abandoned church and kills Virgil. Virgil's granddaughter Kaz is rescued by Frank and Carrie, who discover a film inside the package. Kaz suggests that they look for a projector at her school, which is where the town has been evacuated. Frank and Carrie view the DVD contained in the package at school, which is about Frank's father, Yevgeny Tarasov, a Russian scientist who defected to the United States and unintentionally produced the creature within his own body. Frank is infected by a sample provided to Carrie by an elderly resident, but the organism dies within his body. He understands that due to his heritage, his blood has antibodies that may destroy the organism. The village is evacuated, and General Kenneth Levine authorizes a nuclear strike before dying. Carrie and Frank, on the other hand, recognize that this will be disastrous because the creature can grow with any amount of heat or light. For protection, Frank covers Carrie in his blood, and the two of them fly back to Fort Lambert in a stolen chopper to kill the organism. Carrie discovers a boil on the vines with Glenn's body within, which she mistakenly breaks, washing the blood away. Frank, however, uses his blood to kill the nucleus in his father's body before she is slain. The world is rescued when a nuclear attack is avoided. When Maitland realizes they may have survived, an evacuation is dispatched to save them. This movie was about the dangers of war weapons when pushed to the extreme, such as experimenting on living people. The government's response to the situation and the general public's reaction is also a mirror of real life from the government or military, not listening to the people who know more and fighting fire with fire, in this case, a bioweapon, to the people panicking and not being rational. 